All right, so for leg day, we generally do pretty much the same thing all the time. Um, we keep it pretty simple. We've been splitting up quads and hams, so we've been doing that for a few weeks. Eh, probably a few months. It's been working well. Uh, my hamstrings have certainly come up a ton. They're leaning out better, so something's working. I find that it, me personally, I, I like quads, so I like to squat heavy, as does Nick, so what we found is that we kind of, we, you know, bust our ass to squat, to, you know, do our quads, and then we end up half-assing hamstrings. <laughs> I'm in my powerlifting training. Um, I do certain percentages and and I work off of that. But now, you know, being so close to the show, it's more of reps. Uh, we usually stay between six and ten reps. Uh, we don't go super high reps unless it, we just kind of throw it in that day. Some days we'll just be like, all right, drop set, and it's literally instantly we just do a drop. Um, it's been working, so we, we go pretty heavy with our squats. After that, we usually go to a leg press or a hack squat. Lately, it's been more so leg press. We usually do four to five sets. Uh, also, well, actually, that we, we've been doing a higher rep. We've been moving our feet up a little bit. Um, so you are hitting a little bit more hams, but it, it does feel like you're hitting your teardrop a little bit better as well. I've been doing like 25 to 30 reps of that, just kind of hammering out, hammering it out. And then today we actually also did a sissy squat lunge superset. We have a you know an old school sissy squat contraption, whatever whatever it's called, uh, which is kind of cool. It's definitely a super different feeling than a lot of people are used to. So we like that. Just kind of. A finisher and then sometimes we'll do uh, one-legged extensions again just to try to really really kill it uh, going to culinary school I, I guess you could say that I learned a good amount about what to look for what what to get what not to get um, you know what's healthy what what can make my food taste better so this is a, a normal contest prep food shopping trip for me uh, not a whole trip because I do have some stuff at home I had my beef I had my sweet potatoes I, I have a, a 30 pound bag of rice so that I already have at home the shop is like two blocks from us but it sucks High fructose corn syrup. That's a pretty good option. We'll go with the Arnold. Classic. What I was doing was buying the individually wrapped guacamoles. And what's cool about that is if you ever look at a recipe, a guacamole is really only a couple vegetables and avocado. These make things very, very simple. 
individually packaged guac, which is a couple more ingredients um, than just avocado. And an avocado goes bad very, very quickly. So I open one of these, um, cut it in half, and that's one of my servings. Ground turkey. I, I usually switch between chicken, ground turkey, 99%, um, 97%, usually mix the two, but usually stick with the 99%. As long as you season it good and you don't overcook it, it, it isn't too bad. A lot of people say it's dry, um, but it, it, you have to season it. Seasoning is so key. That's a 99er. Gluten-free oats. Uh, I'm not saying I'm buying into the gluten-free fad. However, I do notice that I feel better doing this. Uh, maybe in my head, it may not be, but I've been doing this for a little while now, and I like them. There's a, they're a little bit more expensive, but it is what it is. So. As you can see, there's a lot of people there, and there's not a lot of food. Uh, this was right before a snowstorm, so everyone was kind of scrambling to get all the other stuff. Thankfully, what I was looking for, no one was really wanting to have. So, Italian seasoning. Um, don't worry about the salt in there. You want some salt, definitely salt your food. You need that for one, a pump, just two, to overall feel better. So, that's a go-to. Seasonings. Such a huge component, I think, in bodybuilding success. And so many people go unseasoned, unflavored. There are so many different options for flavoring your food that it's crazy that people don't utilize it. You can literally change your seasoning every single day if you really want to. I generally go to the store and I'll go down the seasoning aisle and I'll pick something new that week. So almost every week I have a new seasoning. I go with the coconut. Spray, big fan, and the Chris Tuttle Special, better than bouillon. You got lobster, vegetable, I like the chicken. Better than bouillon, I was doing that for a little bit. Uh, something Chris Tuttle mentioned that really helps with the rice. Um, I sent stop just because I feel personally like I hold a lot of water, so I haven't been doing that lately, but very good way to season your salt, I'm sorry, season your rice while you're in prep or off season. Both really good. Chicken, reduced sodium, right in your rice. There you go. <laughs> like say I'm having a barbecue, I'll get fresh veggies because they're gonna be eaten that day. But if I'm getting a ton of veggies, I usually go for frozen. And that's because a lot of times, even fruit, they're picked and it's flash frozen immediately, so all the nutrients are locked in. A lot of times if you get fresh vegetables, you don't know how old those vegetables really are. They could have been, you know, sprayed with pesticides or sprayed with things to make sure that they don't look bad. Um, they might be a few weeks old, they might have stayed on a truck, on a, on a boat, who knows. So I go with the frozen vegetables. The evil burritos. My my wife likes them because they're pretty good. They're easy. There's not too many preservatives. Uh, ingredients are pretty good. You, you read them. You know exactly what everything is. A little high in sodium like most pre-prepared meals. But once in a while, it's not bad. And, and when she's on, a, um, on the go, it's easy for her just to grab one. So I got a couple of those for her. The eggs, I just recently started getting a certified humane egg that that natural guy recommended to me, which I think is pretty awesome. I actually never even noticed that there were something like that. So a cool way to, you know, if you like, you like animals, you like to do the right thing. That that's something that I just, I started picking up, which I, I like, I'm pretty happy to be doing something like that. I like to have my food pretty fresh. Just like I said, coming from a culinary background, I don't like week old food. Most people don't either. 
So I try to cook my my food as often as possible, as long as my schedule allows it, and I'm getting enough sleep, and I'm training, and everything's else is on par 